What is going on guys? It is Jono and today we're going to be talking about the top 10 AI automations that every single freaking business owner should be using every single day. Even if you're not a business owner, this is still going to be applicable to you. And as always guys, every single one of these 10 automations that you should be using every single day is going to be for free in the description. There's going to be links to separate videos where I walk through step by step how to build all of these automations out. All you have to do is go to those videos and download the blueprints. Before we dive into the top 10 best make.com AI automations, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you're brand new, that flashy, amazing subscribe button down below, let's just call your name. Please make sure to hit that if you like this content. <laughs> let's dive in right now. So in front of me, the first one we have is a chat GPT integration into make.com. So this can be your personal assistant that literally does anything for you. Instead of you going out and spending 50 grand hiring a personal assistant, why don't you just set up this free automate? Well, I guess it's $20. So you need the premium version of ChatGPT. But once you get that, you can have a $50,000 personal assistant in your computer. So take an example, take this for an example. Let's say you want to parse a picture of a receipt, right? You can upload a document straight from your computer. And we are going to take this invoice here. Okay. And I'm going to say, please, parse this invoice and upload it. And then from here, it's just going to politely ask me because obviously ChatGPT is not going to do anything without, you know, asking me first for my permission because it's so, it's so kind. It's going to say, hey, do you want to confirm this action? I'm going to confirm it. It's going to parse this. It's going to pass this through make.com, push this into a Google Sheet here, right? And then it's going to essentially break down the line items for everything, the total, the tax, the quantity, the description, title, all of that kind of stuff is going to be in here. You don't just have to use this for receipts. It could be contracts or you could schedule calls with this. You could literally do anything possible pretty much through this that involves a computer. So this is honestly such a lifesaver. It's such a lifesaver. The second one is generating automatic blog posts. So using this automation here, you can use artificial intelligence to generate a thousand blog posts literally in a click of a button. So um, take, for example, this spreadsheet, right? So what my writers do full time and I do have full time writers doing this too, to be exact, but we use AI to generate all of the blog posts and they do the final touches on it is we'll generate a keyword list from SEMrush. And then from there, we'll click one button and we can generate these blog posts, right? And then it's going to be automatically uploaded into our, um, our website here, right? And this is kind of what it looks like when we upload that, right? And then once the writer signs off, they prove that they're good to go. Then the next automation will send it down is sending that blog post into literally seven different social media platforms. So in one click of a button here, so if we just take a blog post like this and it's approved, once we um, once we approve it for social media, it's going to automatically generate social media posts for Medium, for Facebook, for, oops, for Instagram, for LinkedIn, for Tumblr, for X, for Pinterest, right? Instead of you having to manually spend your precious time going to every single one of these seven platforms, it's going to do that automatically, saving you tons of freaking time every single day. The fourth automation is this yellow pages scraper here. Now you don't have to use this for scraping yellow pages. You could scrape Google My Business, you could scrape Apollo, you could scrape obviously yellow pages or um, places like Indeed, right? Where people are looking to hire and maybe it's for SEO services and you're an SEO company and you, you know, you, you reach out and say, Hey, I can offer those SEO services for you. There's a million places you can scrape leads from using Appify. And what we do is we automatically generate a offer that's too good for somebody to turn down. So in this case, we generate a social media plan that somebody can immediately implement on their Instagram account, Facebook account, blog, Twitter, we give access to all of these posts for free and we say, hey, you know, if you like this content, then just let us know what your thoughts are. So instead of, you know, reaching out to people and saying, hey, can I be your, your customer or whatever? Can you pay me money? It's, it's taking the reverse approach where you give so much value up front that people want to return the favor, right? So this is obviously going to be a much better way of approaching clients because you're giving the value up front instead of asking for something immediately, which obviously is a business owner, nobody likes. So the next one here is a uh, receipt, like we're, we're parsing Gmail using artificial intelligence to extract PDFs off an email and then doing whatever we want 
with those documents, right? So in this example, we have this receipt here, very similar to the past, you know, thing that we did here. But instead of going through ChatGPT, we're automatically parsing receipts straight from Gmail. And then we're taking those receipts and we're just plugging them into a spreadsheet or doing whatever you want with them. You can upload that into QuickBooks or whatever your accounting software is. And, you know, obviously it's not just limited to receipts, right? Another great use case for this would be, say, you're dealing with recruitment and and in my case, you know, I don't even know. Let's just take a look. There's probably like seven, eight thousand people that have applied in the last two months here. Uh, it's a it's an overwhelming amount of people, but you can just use artificial intelligence to go through their um, through their resume here, and you could just automatically, you know use artificial intelligence to scan this resume, take all the key details that you want out of it, and then either you know say, hey, this person's good to go, or no, I don't wanna work with this person. For example, maybe the person hasn't worked in the last five years. Well, if that's the case, maybe that's a red flag for you. Maybe they don't have any relevant experience in the position that you're looking to hire for. Maybe it's a sales position you're hiring for, and they've never done sales in their life, right? Those are the kind of things that you could easily use artificial intelligence to do for you so that you don't have to spend your precious time going into 8,000 freaking resumes every single month wanting to stab your eyes out because you're doing something manual that could be automated using artificial intelligence. The next one is podcasts, right? So take this workflow, for example. We actually automatically find information from news sites and you don't have to just use it from news sites this could be from anywhere right but in this example we're using news sites and we find information from news sites via their rss feed so news uh what like news sites will push out content to their rss feed when that content becomes available you can find that blog post and then you can create a podcast around uh, you know, news that is uh, like current events that are happening in the world around you, right? You can push all of these ideas to a spreadsheet like this. And for me, like personally, you know, I think there's a fine line between using AI and also being like having human like controls in place, right? I never just want to put, especially if it's my voice or my face or whatever, I always want to make sure the content I'm pushing out there is awesome. So uh, for that, with that being said, you just have this button here, right? And you have, you know, an idea that you're taking from a new site and then you're just, you have the option to create a new title for it and then create content. We're, we're using ChatGPT to automatically create this, but you can go ahead and change this obviously, right? To whatever it is that you want. And then we'd go ahead and generate generate uh, you know, a, a AI podcast using a clone of your voice. And then once you're good to go, you just press publish and then it will go down this workflow and publish it to SoundCloud, which then you can just um, disseminate to all other platforms like Apple and Spotify. And this is kind of what it would sound like. In a significant move, the Justice Department has initiated a second antitrust trial against Google, accusing the tech giant of monopolistic practices in online advertising. Right. So that's pretty cool. Like instead of you having to create all these podcasts yourself, you can use artificial intelligence to, to do the same thing, right? Effectively duplicating your own efforts so that you can just get so much more done with so much less time. The next one is using AI to clone yourself for videos. Now, this is myself talking. <laughs> I wish I could do some of these videos with AI cloning because it would make it a lot easier. Um, but yeah, I mean, this technology is coming a long way. And I think this will be the norm in a few years from now. I think looking back, you know, two, three, four years ago, people would be like, are you freaking kidding me? Like blog posts written by AI taking over the world by storm, more content being published online that's generated by AI. People would think you're crazy, right? People would think you're a witch and they'd burn you at the stake for saying that. No, probably not, but <laughs> you get the point. And the same thing with these AI videos, right? So for example, in this workflow, what we do, and once again, there's massive human intervention here because we want to make sure we're confident in what we're publishing here but essentially what we're doing is we're generating ideas and then as long as you like the idea it'll generate the script for you and then if you like the script then it'll generate the video and then when you're ready to post you can post it right and the controls are here so if you like the content then you'll create the video if you like the video then you'll publish it right so that's kind of what it looks like and here's what this video is uh, just one example of many that you could create hey guys in this video, we'll be talking about AI clones. Using AI clones, you could create an unlimited amount of content for social media. Did you even realize that this is my AI clone you're listening to right now? Wow. 
So that's like pretty crazy. I mean, you can kind of see that it's not 100% perfect. Um, you know, the jawline isn't nearly as chiseled as it usually is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, it's, it's come a long way and it'll certainly get a lot better. The next thing here that uh, you can do using artificial intelligence is um, you can essentially create other videos. And this is just an extension. Maybe you don't want to use AI clones, but you could have like a, a generator for uh, uh, Instagram reels or TikTok videos or shorts on YouTube. So in this case, what we're doing is we're getting ChatGPT to generate us unlimited ideas. And then we're pushing those ideas right here, right? And then once we get these ideas, then we just generate them. And then it will generate a video for us uh, that we can publish automatically. And as long as you approve what's being generated and you wanna post it, you can easily go ahead and post a video just like this onto uh, your social media automatically. Best preparation for tomorrow is doing your best today. Right, so that's just an example of another type of social media uh, posting that you can do using artificial intelligence. Now, the next one is an ebook generator. So imagine this: somebody comes to your website, right, and uh, you want to increase your conversion rate. You want to get more people through the door because you know that if you get more emails, you get more phone numbers, all that kind of stuff, you're naturally going to get more conversions, right? So why not have a lead magnet on your website where if somebody fills out a form like this, they get a free ebook, right? So you can have a workflow like this where you automatically generate like a 90,000 page ebook for them, personalized to their niche or their business. You get to allow them to choose the book title, description, tone of voice, target audience, number of chapters, reading level, all that kind of stuff. And then you just automatically send an email, right? With, uh, of course, titles and chapters and images, all all of that kind of stuff. So that's just one idea of how you could generate lead magnets. Obviously, this isn't something that you should go and publish right away, but it's a really good starting point for a lot of people, right? So a lot of people would be pretty happy with this because, you know, imagine creating a first draft where it's like literally 20 pages. It would probably take you a couple of days, right? So Really good, really good way to save some time there. The next one is chatbots. And there's just so many different ways to do chatbots. You can, of course, do sales chatbots. You can do customer service chatbots. You can do recruitment chatbots. The list goes on. Literally anyone that you're talking to, you can use artificial intelligence to replace yourself from that transaction, which is going to just obviously save you a lot of time. So in this instance, we're using a flow from ManyChat. And ManyChat is a software um, where it essentially um, integrates into like Facebook and Instagram and it allows you to use artificial intelligence to communicate with potential leads. So take this workflow, for example, somebody inquires, they're like, hey, Jonathan, thanks for inquiring about our lead magnet. I'd love to send it over. But just before I do, can you please tell me the, your URL? And they tell you the URL of their website. You say, perfect, thanks. I'm going to take a look. Just give me a second. And then it uses AI to scan their website using a workflow like this, where we use perplexity to take a look at their website. And it gives an AI response back being like, well, your website DJ see is absolutely stunning. I love the modern design and how easy it is to navigate, right? Um, you know, the high quality images and the crisp typography really make it stand out. Thanks, Perplexia. Yeah, I love that response. <laughs> Plus the integration and clean animations and subtle effects add a touch of sophistication. And then it's like, hey, what's your budget? And you're like, okay, this. And then it's amazing. I'll send over the proposal. And, and you know, essentially on and on it goes. But you can connect it right back into a make.com thing where a uh, scenario where it generates a, a customized proposal for that person. And literally in this message down here, there's a link that it automatically sends them in real time to a proposal that grabs the person's website and it pulls in information that you collected on that person from that call or from that conversation and sends it to them. So it's like a fully custom customized proposal that's being sent absolutely automatically. So that's really cool. And one of the last ones, which is a bit boring, but honestly, I use all the time, um, is essentially taking lead information from emails. Now, there's a lot of websites out there. Take, uh, in my case, it's the Knot here, right? They don't have an API. They're a bit behind the, well, very behind the curve. And the only way you actually know if you got a lead is what if they email you or if you log into their software, which obviously uh, sucks if you want to automate the process of replying to those leads. So in this instance, what you have is you have an email from them being like, hey, 
hey, here's the person's name and email and other email and phone number and all that kind of stuff, right? And if you're getting like 50 or 60 or 100 of these leads a day, the last thing you want to do is come in here and be like, okay, I'm going to copy this email and paste it and then copy the phone number. And, you know, you just like after the second one, you're, you're questioning the existence of your life, right? It just absolutely sucks. But <laughs> a great workaround for that is using AI. And I didn't actually do it in this workflow, but I wish I did because it would have saved me so much time is using AI to be like, hey, can you take out this person's phone number for me? Can you take out their email? Can you take out the first name, their last name? Can you take out all the key details that I need and then just plug it into my CRM so I can automatically start texting and calling and emailing this person automatically? That's such a good use of time, right? And while it's boring, it's not flashy, it's one of the ones I actually probably use the most because it saves me like hours every single freaking day. So those are the top 10 AI automations that I use in make.com to speed up my workflow every single day. Just for comparison, I went from running my business where I want to say I probably worked seven days a week, 14 hours a day, like a ridiculous amount down to replacing myself entirely from my job. Like I don't even, I think I've logged in one time in the, in the last month to put out a fire, but other than that and sending a couple, hey, congratulations, great sale, good job here and there. I really haven't done anything for the business, right? So use that's that's why I, I you know I, I hope you get value out of this video because these automations were absolutely life-changing for me. And I'm sure by using these automations coupled with others, you'll be able to have life-changing transformations as well. If you guys found value in this video, make sure to hit that shiny, that beautiful, that like eye-catching subscribe button down below that you're looking at right now you're contemplating you're like should i do it should i not please uh do that if you think i did a good job it helps me understand what content people like and what they don't like and also hopefully it helps you out too if, because if you like this video then i'm sure you're gonna like the other videos we release pretty much every single day i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye